how do you work out relative molecular masses? How do you work out relative formula masses? I've gone into working these out a tiny bit in my in my previous video to my previous video. In this video, I'm gonna I'm gonna go through a couple of worked examples to give you a really good idea of how we go about working out relative molecular masses and relative formula masses. Now. Both of these are worked out use both of these are represented by the symbol M R. And I'm gonna start with relative molecular masses. Rel working out the relative molecular masses. And I'm going to use I'm gonna I'm going to split this thing in half. One side I'm going to use for my first. Actually, I'm splitting off up here. There we go. This part I'm going to use for my first molecule. This part I'm going to use for my second molecule. Now here I'm going to work through two examples of of working out. In fact, I'm going to work out three. I'm going to go through three examples of working out relative formula masses. So my first one that I'm going to do for relative molecular masses, as I said, these ones are going to be for relative formula masses. And as I said in the other video, they're practically the same thing except a slight difference in the sense that molecules come on the relative simple molecules come on the relative molecular masses but things with giant structures come on the relative formula masses the rel everything comes on the relative formula masses now what we're going to look the the molecule which we're going to look at first in terms of for relative molecular masses let me just put a little sort of partition in here the first thing we're going to look at for relative molecular masses is a molecule with the molecular formula C2H6O and this is quite a simple one to work out now what we're going to do is as as you can see here I've got written the relative atomic masses of these six elements which I'm going to be using in these examples the first one is oxygen is, is um well the first thing you should you should notice is that this number in the top left corner is the relative atomic masses. So that's what we're going to be using in these calculations. Now for carbon, first what we need to pay attention to when we're working these out is the, this subscript also. If there is no subscript, we can assume that the subscript is, is 1, basically. So what we do here is we got carbon so what we do is with carbon we multiply the AR of carbon carbon is 12.0 so what we do is we get 12.0 and we multiply uh, we multiply this by 2 because this is 2 here and we add this to the AR of hydrogen relative atomic mass of hydrogen which is 1 so 1.0 and we times that by 6 then we add this to the relative atomic mass of one oxygen because we only got one here and that's 16.0 so we've got 16.0 you could just write this as 16 but 16.0 times one and i'm just writing, writing this time times one in here just so you recognize what's going on and if you're doing this in like in a in a question it would show that you've understood what it's asking you to do and you, you're actually doing some working out and answer to this um I don't have a calculator at the moment, but this is going to be 24 plus 6 plus 16, which is going to equal, let's see, 40, 40, 46. 46. Um, I'm just going to write the answer up here. So MR, I'll write this in purple, MR equals 46, as we've seen here. 46. 24 plus 16 plus 6. Now, the next molecule which I'm going to look at. Hold on, let me just. Actually, I'm going to pause this, get my calculator, come back, and then we're going to work through the rest.
Okay. So the next molecule which we're going to be looking at is quite similar to this one. It's quite similar to this one here, but it has a slightly different formula and it has no oxygens. Its formula its formula is C four H ten. So this is but this has the name butane. Yeah, butane. Anyway. Let me get rid of that second line so that I can use this space. Um, so first thing, we know we have four carbons here because of this subscript, and we know we have ten hydrogens because of this subscript. So we look at this, and we see ah, it's twelve point oh. So what we do is we get twelve point oh, and we multiply that by this four here. Obviously, this is the AR, and then we add this to hydrogen, which the AR is one point oh, multiplied by ten, which is this number here which is the, the amount of hydrogen atoms in this particular molecule and if we add this up what we find is okay, 12 point times 4 plus 1.0 times 10 equals 58 I calculated this and I got 58 so therefore if we bring this up here we know that the it's called MR of C4H10 butane, but, butane equals and when, when I get into unit 2 chemistry I'll explain like how to name these sort of things well actually I don't know what this is because because of the fact that this is just a molecular formula it tells me nothing about the structure at all so yeah I don't know what molecule this is I don't know what molecule this is um, yeah, uh, this the MR as I said fifty eight. Now down here, here I'm going to be doing relative formula masses, which is slightly different because it includes things which aren't included in relative molecular masses. And the first compound which I'm going to be doing here is CaCO3 that's CaCO3 calcium carbonate now this is pretty simple and it's exactly the same way we work this out the only difference is that this forms a ionic compound oh wow well a carbonate so what we do is we get this 40.1 and there's only one of them so uh, imagine this is just one and what we do is we add 40.1 to actually we just add that 40.1 because there's only one and we and we add that to the carbon which is 12 or well, 12.0 and then we add that to the O times 3 because it's that, that 3 is for that O O is 16.0 multiply it and then we multiply that by 3 why do I call that 3 and what we get from that is let me calculate this 40.1 wait 40 oh my gosh 40.1 plus 12.0 plus 16.0 oh yeah I can't actually see the point here that much you know let me just make it clearer 16.0 times 3 and what I get is 100.1 that sounds about right 100 wait what 16 plus 12 no that that oh yeah, yeah it's times 3 isn't it yeah yeah, yeah it's 100.1 100 point one. There we go. So the MR here, MR equals hundred point one. And for all of these, the units are grams per mole. And when I get to my video about moles, I'll explain the whole concept of moles, molar masses, and things like that. 
So that's g mole grams per mole minus 1. And that basically means that minus 1 means that it's mol to the power of minus 1, which is basically this. And if we times the, the g by this times g, what we get is g grams per mole because it's grams over mole. So for every every mole we get one that's this amount of grams. Um so yeah for every for every mole of this this particular molecule we will get forty six grams of that substance. Now MR yeah MR of this is that so MR of CH three is that next example the next molecule which we're going to do in this is Potassium dichromate. Oh yeah, let me write the name of this one here, because this is, uh, I think. Well, actually, yeah, yeah. I'll just write calcium. Car oh my gosh, carbonate. It's really hard to write this small, but yeah, calcium carbonate. And the next one I'm gonna write down here. The next one we're gonna work through is potassium. dichromate and this is a substance used to in 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 some important reactions in chemistry and this is involved in unit 2 chemistry so when I get to unit 2 chemistry I'll be talking about potassium dichromate so, now the formula of potassium dichromate which is uh, for this the most important part K2Cr2O7 so we can see it's quite a lot of atoms in this particular molecule so with this this yellow uh, purple color so first thing K2 we've got K here which is 39.1 as its relative atomic mass we get this 39.1 39.1 1, and we multiply it by 2 multiply that by 2 and we add this to that the m the ar of cr and the m of cr which is chromium which is chromium is 52.0 so we add that to 52.0 multiplied by this 2 here and we add this to 7 of the oxygens and we know that oxygen is 16.0 16.0 times or multiplied by 7 and if we work this out on a calculator let me just work this out now 39.1 times 2 plus 52.0 times 2 plus 16.0 times 7 equals And what we get from this is 294.2, and that would be grams per mole. And, and the same thing goes here, grams per mole. Now, for this part here, The molecule I'll use, uh, the, the, the formula I'll use is, I mean, let me think, let me think. Um, how about we do butane, pentane, pentane 1 oh, so Anyway, this is the formula. Let's say the formula is this, C5. H twelve. Oh, let's say this is the formula we've got, and we want to work out the relative formula mass of this. What we're going to do is we're going to get the five and multiply it by the twelve. So, quite simply, hope we're getting the hang of this now. Twelve point oh multiplied by five, and we add this to. 1.0 multiplied by 12 from this 12 here and we add this to 
16.0 multiplied by 1 and what we get from this let me work this out quite quickly 12.0 multiplied by 5 plus 1.0 multiplied by 12 plus 16.0 multiplied by 1 which we, what we get from this is 88 88 so now we know that the MR of this particular formula and relative formula masses for any formula unit what we get for this particular formula the MR relative formula mass equals 88 grams per mole and remember that power to minus 1 and that is how you work out relative molecular mass how you work out relative formula mass it's that simple I hope you learned how to figure it out and that's the end of this video see ya